at that time, I wasn't really aware of the self-advocacy movement, but I did know at the time that there was, I think at that time I was kind of wondering if there was or not. Um, I think the real deal with being involved or first being involved was when I was out of school, when I was done with school. Um, the seven habits, I was, I was probably 19 years of age when I really started, you know, becoming more involved in the advocacy group. I, it started, I think, in a post-grad program that U32 runs um, called, uh, it's an apartment program and it teaches people with <coughs> developmental disabilities how to live on their own and the skills to live on your own. And while I was in that, we would have meetings like at certain times of like, you know, the, you know, the week or the month. I wasn't really, you know, aware as much of the disability rights movement, even though at, you know, at the time, like, I was sure that there probably was to some extent, but I wasn't aware. Everything that I'm aware of today about it, I was definitely not aware of back then. And so going to these meetings and being more introduced to it and also given the opportunity to talk about issues that had that involved, you know, individuals or people with disabilities or, you know, disability rights uh, really got me interested in it more. So attending the meetings actually felt pretty good and I'm happy that I was, you know, I attended a lot of those gatherings and meetings that they would have because when I got more into it, I started, you know, feeling like I should be a part of this because I got a lot to say from my past and what needs to be done in the present. I was heard that the outreach worker job was open. And so I figured, I figured it, that me being in the restaurant business for two years, I kind of like, had enough and I thought about it for a bit and then I just said to myself and also of course to my parents too that I think it's time for a change. I want to be involved in this movement more because I've, I've attended a lot of, you know, I've been to state, a national conference, only one national conference, but uh, three state conferences, two before I got this job. And so with all that set and done and put together and like just the fact that since I've been involved in this movement first as a student as like for like two and a half years now, I figured why can't I just be in this movement even more. I have to say uh, a good role model I'll start out uh, with um, easiest person I can think of is uh, Chester Fit. He's a good role model. He was a good role model. He was one of he was one of the role models that I looked up to just because I admired like the way he talked and you know his honesty, which is another thing in leadership too. Um, that um, that he had when he spoke to people um, about first who he was and what needs to be done and why and just the way. He just the way he speaks to people as, you know, a leader, and I look up to him as a role model for individuals like me, and also um, as, you know, for possibly kids younger than me. Um, but, um, yeah, I've always discussed being a national board member, and one thing I do ask for from him is advice, and he says it will come along. He has told me that I am coming along and I'm doing a good job coming along, but he says, you know, it does take practice, you know, you want to make an, un, a good understanding as to what needs to be done, like is it in ways, like in result of improvements and stuff. It takes practice, you know, it takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of, ex you know, it takes experiences, but you're getting up there and one day you will be well known like that.